SOSC Americas is a campaign of over a thousand students who will relay the torch of life throughout 36 countries in the Americas, promoting the importance of organ and tissue donations. This is a two-year journey that started in Alaska on October 24th of this year and will end in Argentina on October 24th, 2011. The Odyssey is sponsored by Step by Step, a charitable organization created by George Marcello in 1997. George, a recipient of a life-saving liver transplant himself, has spearheaded this journey in many other countries, with this being his seventh campaign. Students from Victoria High with George will be arriving at the legislature at approximately 3 o'clock carrying the famous torch of light. Victoria is the third city of 277 cities to be visited in the two-year student torch trip. I encourage all members of the House to join me now and outside at 3 o'clock in welcoming these young people and the torch to the legislature today. Hi, I'm Hella B. Yeah, and then Ash. Oh, Ash. Ashley. Ryan. And then I Gosley. Dylan. Fiona. Okay. I'm Afro. I'm Cleo. Daniel. I'm Monica. Okay, sorry, I'll get behind here. Okay. I'm David. I'm Emil. I'm Valentine. I'm Jill. Rosa. Fiona. <laughs> Got, okay. Perfect. That's great. So we're doing this at every school, so we kind of put more of a, a name to the face. that Ashley's holding uh, was blessed by Pope John Paul so II. His proclamation was that organ and tissue donation was a genuine act of love. When he blessed it, he, he said to pass the torch to the students, for they shall be the spokesperson. So I think, you know, the idea was that through you guys, your passion, like I said earlier, your enthusiasm, you're going to be able to probably effectively reach your community better than anybody so, else. Uh, again, uh, you're not only carrying this torch on behalf of Victoria High School, but on behalf of Victoria and the entire island. Uh, so, Ryan, can you please light the torch of life? And Ashley, hold it up high. That's it. Oh, yeah. So remember, it gets kind of heavy. One other thing, who likes handling a camera? I like, I like quick volunteers. Okay, you're the official documentary person for your, all, everything that comes out of this camera is gonna be your work. So which way do we go? Straight oh. that way. Okay. That way. Richard, she's gotta be a I don't know. Tammy. Especially the the wisdom in between this little interval. Donate your organs. It's a good thing to do. It was a song that you guys were chanting or something about. <laughs> hey, Dad. He does work. No, it's running into the wall. Woo, woo! Woo, woo!
uh, both Carol James and Rob Flynn couldn't be here, but they said to say hi to you. But um, just a quick history. My husband's had two liver transplants, and he's on the waiting list for a kidney transplant. And I'm the one that might be given the kidney. So um, do oh. organ donation okay. is it. Yeah. Well, we have this occasion to thank people. We want to thank uh, Luba and the rest of the team here at the legislative building. Uh, she's up there, Luba? Yeah. Luba. Thank you once again. And um, also, we want to thank Victoria Finest, uh, Officer Hamilton, for giving a great escort. Yeah. Ryan, how did it feel to be a part of this? Um, great. Want to support a good cause. Um, it's a good thing. It saves. You can save up to eight people. How did you manage in those shoes to walk all the way over here? This is like a few blocks away. So, uh, Daniel, how did it feel to walk with a torch? For organs, that as a, it felt good, Severin. Some people are camera shy. Let's go over to Mr. Pine and ask him about his experience. Mr. Pine. Okay. So how did it feel to uh, walk with a torch for organ donations? Well, as I said, democracy is a verb. So the civics class was showing that uh, you have to get out, get your feet into action. And boy, and did we! <laughs> How did you like walking with a torch for organ donations? It's good, it's fun, it's really cool though. It's a good cause and we should all do it. I'll sign up. As soon as I can. My name's Avril. It was fun being here. <laughs> so Fiona. Fiona, hey! Hi. How's it going? How, you doing? How did you like walking with a torch for organ donations? Uh, it, it was super fantastic, yeah. <laughs> So what are your thoughts on organ donations? Um, I think it's, it's really sad how Canada has one of the longest wait lists in the world for organ donation. And I think that anything that I can be part of that encourages someone else to, you know, sign that form and give up their organs is a good thing. Because I think it is a very valuable cause. And just one person can save up to eight lives. Yeah, um, why did you sign up for this? Why? Because I want to cook, I think it's important for humanity and if we are human beings, we have to do that. I think it's so important for all of us. Hey! Hey! hey what are your thoughts on organ donations? Absolutely an important cause as well as giving blood. So those uh, between those, it's uh, very, very important because you don't want to be on the other side of it in the trauma room and with a child or anybody that you know who's in dire need of an organ and it's not there. That, and it could have been helped. So this cause, good for you guys. You did a great job walking down here and trying to get your message out. So good for you. I'm actually Mrs. Renier, the vice principal at Big Oh, guy. okay, <laughs> this is the vice, vice principal. Also vice a principal. teacher. We all need to register. We need to talk to our children about it. Yeah. Why, why, do you, why do you think like parents don't talk to their kids about it? Because it's a really hard topic. I think sometimes it's a challenging conversation to have with your family, but it's an important one so that you don't have to have it in the moment of stress or anxiety or death. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.